Hey guys, what's going on? Justin from Nintendo Dads, and today, this came in the mail, the Super NES Classic Edition, uh, European Edition, uh, with 21 games. So we are going to do an unboxing of this. I've got my, uh, my daughters with me, so uh, let's begin. All right guys, so I've cracked open my Super and Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Classic Mini. Uh, let's take a look what's in the box, not too shocking. So first and foremost, uh, here's the actual console. And as a reference point, it is just a little bit bigger than my hand, uh, which is crazy. Some fantastic detail uh, on it again. Now, I grew up in North America, so it, we were used to the gray and purple one. So this is kind of like my first um, look or first hands-on with the Famicom, which is, of course, mini, so it's kind of weird. But uh, love, the, love the colors uh, that it represents up here in the top right-hand corner. Of course, this is when we actually had those colors introduced. Uh, and the X and Y, or sorry, yeah, the X and Y buttons were uh, introduced. Here's our power button, um, simple on off. Um, there's our reset button. Now, interestingly enough, this is where the games would go, and there is a little bit, there is a little bit, if you give a little bit of a push, uh, you can feel a little bit of movement there, nothing too, nothing too worrisome. The eject button, if the eject button worked, but of course it doesn't in this. Uh, and then the back, there is our uh, HDMI out and our uh, input. And of course, the question is, well, where does the uh, where does the console go, or where do the controllers go? And there's actually this, this slot right here that you pull down, and there is our two uh, spots for our controllers to go into. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Really small, of course. Um, you know, in comparison, here's the controller in comparison to it. So the controller is actually uh, almost as well. It's actually about as, as big as it. So that's pretty. That's pretty pretty bad. Uh, we're going to move over here, but here is our actual controllers uh, that come with it. Shoulder buttons, they've got that nice little spring in them that uh, I recall from, from playing the Super Nintendo as a kid growing up. Uh, as mentioned before, here's our, here's our introduction of our X and Y uh, buttons, and of course the blue, green, yellow, red. Uh, Super Famicom was the first edition that had that uh, different color scheme, so that's very cool. I love the different color scheme to that. Um, you know, of course, these, these feel very light nowadays, comparatively to everything else that we've held for video game consoles. You know, the Nintendo Switch, the 3DS, uh, you know, those all have rumble in it or, um, you know, batteries and all that kind of stuff. So this feels a little bit light in the hand, uh, feels a bit odd, you know, 30 or 25 years later coming back to it, but uh, very excited. And of course, the select and start have that kind of rubbery feel, you can kind of hear that there. And of course, these, these, feel, these, feel, these, feel, these feel right, feel perfect. So. Uh, we'll just go down the cord here, and the cord is actually just this kind of nub that we can see at the, the end of it that goes into our um, into our console there. Uh, now, of course, this, this nub is actually very similar to the, um, I actually say similar, is identical to the nub that we would have seen with the Wii, Wii Chuck, or the Wii Chuck, and uh, so it's very easily connected, connected in. So if you have a, I don't know if you do wireless, maybe if you had a, uh, a Wii laying around, you could do wirelessly on this. Not 100% sure. Um, yeah, the cord is, cord is, uh, cord is five feet, so, I mean, that's, you know, it's not bad for, for five feet of cord. Now, there is, we did get two of them, we, uh, there's one, there's our second, there's a second one, so two, two controllers come right out of the box, so that's fantastic. Um, what else we got in here? Uh, pretty stock HDMI cable, in, in and out, so, yeah, I've got an HD TV, perfect. And then here is our, our USB power uh, plug. So that's pretty great. Uh, so that's everything that's, in, everything that's in the box. A lot of cables and cords makes me really feel like I am uh, back to playing with Super Nintendo. Now, interestingly enough, a couple other things that did come in the box is the operator's manual. And there it is, there is the operator's manual. Um, the art looks very similar to the Super, Fra uh, Super Famicom art. That's very cool. Um, Bunch of different languages it's in. Some of them I don't even know what they are. Um, but interestingly enough, as so, so this this came with it, kind of a stock stock um, manual. The other thing that came in the the container is is this, and it's the you know get some 300 my Nintendo rewards points. So that's cool. Um, what was noticeably absent actually was the. Super Nintendo, now you're playing with power poster that came in the North American version. So the EU version, the European version did not uh, get that at all. So 
Yeah. Oh, well, that's, that's, you know, we get a really cool system instead of a poster, so I'm okay with that. Um, yeah, I'm really, really excited, loving this. Let's take a quick look. Now, my kids did the, did the unboxing for this, so they, they, they had a number on this box. So, either way, 21 games, excited to play some of these classics that I grew up with. Uh, with my kids um, and uh, see what happens. All right, guys, thanks for tuning into Nintendo Dads, and uh, you know, yeah, you know, now you're playing with power. Bye bye.